How to make your body eat its own diseases. These days, everyone seems to be struggling with some health problem or another. For one person, it's bloating, acidity and digestive discomfort. For another, it's rising blood sugar, stubborn belly fat or blood pressure that isn't normal. Over half of adults now have fatty liver and these issues just keep spreading as our diets and lifestyles take a turn for the worse. Some people feel exhausted after sleeping well at night and you'll notice teenagers having more joint pain and issues more than ever before. But what if I told you that your body has a built-in way to eat its own diseases? Whether it be skin issues that keep coming back, migraines, uric acid or even low immunity. Hidden deep inside your body is a natural system that knows how to repair itself. A system that recycles and restores damaged cells and literally eats away at the diseases from the inside out. Scientists call this process autophagy from the Greek words meaning self-eating. And this amazing mechanism was mapped out in detail by a Japanese Nobel Prize winning biologist who discovered the very genes that can switch autophagy on and unlock the body's deep healing potential. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn autophagy on inside your body, not with complicated treatments or expensive pills, but through simple foods, habits and natural triggers that scientists have thoroughly documented. By the end, you'll have the most powerful ways to help your body recycle old cells, eat away at diseases and stay healthier for longer through your life. Most people, however, never give their bodies the space to switch on this repair mode because we're eating from the moment we wake up until the moment we fall asleep. With breakfast, snacks, lunch, more snacks and then a heavy meal late at night before bed, the body's energy stays focused on digestion but your cells can only focus on one main job at a time. If all that energy is tied up to breaking down food, then there's none left for repair. And that's why so many people feel inflamed, tired and stuck with health issues that never seem to improve. However, the most powerful way to turn on this autophagy is by finishing your dinner early around 6.30pm in the evening and then not eating or drinking calories again until 12.30pm the next day. This gives your body an amazing 18 hour window to activate a deep state of autophagy. As your energy moves away from digestion, insulin levels drop and certain genes activate turning on autophagy as your body goes into that deep clean or self-eating mode. Misfolded proteins, damaged parts of cells like mitochondria or old viruses and toxins get broken down and recycled into fresh, usable parts that your body can use for growth and repair. And here's something fascinating. This process is actually tied to the rhythm of sunlight. Your body digests foods more efficiently in the morning and the early afternoon where the metabolism is at its strongest. But after sunset, your digestive energy weakens. So late night meals take longer to process and they're sitting in the digestive system, wasting more energy that could have been working on cleaning out damaged proteins and diseases. One study compared two groups of people eating the same meals and calories, but one group had their dinner at 6pm and the others at 10pm. The earlier eating group lost up to 10% more weight despite eating the same food. So don't believe what they tell you, it's not just about the amount of calories you eat, but when you ate them that made the difference. A daily fasting rhythm of 16 to 18 hours is the simplest way to activate autophagy and allow healing to begin. And best of all, it's completely free. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to it. If you feel too hungry when you try fasting, simply add a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt to two cups of water and drink it. This will replenish your electrolytes and suppress the appetite so that you can go for longer without eating. And when you do go for longer, something incredible starts to happen. Your digestive system uses up all the energy from your food and then the body starts to run out of glucose. So it switches over from burning sugar into burning stored fat. 
This new fuel coming from your fat cells called ketones is not only cleaner for your cells, but it also pushes this autophagy into a deeper level. Most people notice better mental focus when the ketones kick in. In fact, research shows us that ketones provide up to 25% more energy per unit to your brain cells than glucose does. Ketones by nature are also anti-inflammatory, which means that there's less oxidative stress in your cells and more protection against diseases as you get older. But how can you increase your ketones even further so that your body can eat more stored fat, helping you to lose your belly, reduce inflammation and slow down the aging process? Well, all you need to do is reduce the amount of processed carbohydrates that you eat some days out of the week. Two days out of seven, try eating less than 50 grams of carbohydrates from things like bread, cereals, crackers, rice, potatoes, sugar, starches, etc. This will push your body into a deeper state of ketosis where autophagy is boosted even further and different repair pathways like sirtuins and FOXO genes switch on. However, if you find that fasting is making you feel very weak or groggy, you can help your body adjust by simply adding one tablespoon of MCT oil to a cup of coffee at lunchtime. MCT oil quickly raises ketones, giving your body a boost of that clean fuel whilst keeping autophagy running strong. But fasting and low carb eating isn't the only way to turn on autophagy. When you use up stored glycogen in your muscles by exercising, through walking, lifting weights or interval training, your body activates something called AMPK. This is an energy sensor that turns autophagy on while at the same time old damaged proteins in muscle tissue get recycled which makes those muscles larger and stronger. Your body also has a built-in trick called hormesis where small doses of stress actually make you stronger. Sitting in a sauna for example can trigger heat shock proteins that help refold and repair damaged proteins in your body. Cold showers or contrast showers going from hot to cold also create a mild shock which forces your cells to adapt, especially brain cells, to reduce problems like sadness and depression. If you work at a desk job, you might want to try an under-desk treadmill or a stepper so that your body keeps moving through the day and it doesn't switch off these natural repair systems. And when you finally do rest at night, autophagy also reaches another level. During deep sleep, your brain's glymphatic system flushes out toxins and waste, including damaged proteins, chemical residues and even microscopic pollutants like microplastics. But if your deep sleep is too short or broken, this system can't switch on properly. That's why poor sleep is linked to memory problems, mood issues and faster aging. To get the full repair benefits of this autophagy, you will need to get 7 to 9 hours of high quality, uninterrupted sleep. Let's talk a little bit about coffee and tea. Most people like to start their day with a coffee or a tea, and the good news is both of these are powerful autophagy activators. Organic coffee is rich in polyphenols that lower inflammation and flip on repair pathways in your cells. Studies show that people who drink it regularly have a lower risk of metabolic diseases and an even longer lifespan, but the key is to only drink one cup a day because too much caffeine can actually trigger stress and cortisol, which we don't want. Green tea is actually even stronger because its EGCG compound not only supports autophagy but also protects your brain from stress. As long as you don't add milk, honey or sweeteners, coffee and tea will not break your fast but they will actually deepen your body's state of repair and healing. And it's not just drinks. Some of the strongest autophagy activators are sitting quietly on your spice rack. For example, turmeric contains curcumin, a natural switch for autophagy that helps to calm down inflammation. Many people use this for joint pain or liver support, but its real power is down to the cellular level. Ginger with its gingerol compounds can improve digestion, reduce bloating and also encourages repair of the gut lining 
which is very important because damaged gut cells are one of the first things that autophagy recycles, believe it or not. Galangal is also a lesser known root from the ginger family which carries unique ACA compounds that also push your body into repair. If you ever cook Asian dishes at home, try swapping ginger with galangal once in a while. I would suggest however that you do eat these foods during the day, not late at night where they can slow autophagy. And beyond the spices, the real colours of nature hold an even deeper power for triggering this self-healing. Blueberries are rich in pterostilbene. This is a cousin of resveratrol which turns on autophagy in the brain and supports memory. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and brussels sprouts are also loaded with sulforaphane which helps your liver recycle toxins while flipping on those repair genes. Mushrooms, especially shiitake and maitake, contain trehalose. This is a very unusual sugar that paradoxically boosts autophagy instead of blocking it like other sugars. And olive oil, the cornerstone of the Mediterranean diet, carries oluropane, shown to extend lifespan in animal studies. Just a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil over a daily salad can reinforce this repair system. But plants aren't your only allies, the right fats and nutrients are also essential for deep cellular renewal. Omega-3s from wild fish, chia seeds or flax support autophagy in your brain, helping protect against brain fog and memory decline. Vitamin D3 and K2 work together to move calcium into the bones away from the arteries, whilst also nudging autophagy on at the cellular level. And vitamin B3, also known as niacin, boosts NAD+. This is a molecule that fuels every process of repair. Without NAD, autophagy slows down quite significantly. And science has also discovered some unusual compounds and allies hiding in traditional foods. Spermidine, for example, found in wheat germ and natto, which is fermented soybeans, is one of the most potent autophagy activators ever discovered. Populations who eat spermidine-rich diets are consistently linked with longevity. Berberine, a compound from plants like golden seal, can activate autophagy in brain cells whilst also supporting healthy blood sugar. And probiotics, which are those good bacteria from fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut or kefir, can trigger autophagy in immune cells, making your body more resilient against infections. Even acupuncture has been shown to stimulate lysosomes, which are the recycling centres that drive autophagy. But just as there are many ways to turn autophagy on, there are also some common habits that can shut it down completely. Alcohol is one of the worst offenders, even a single night of heavy drinking can stall autophagy for hours. Constantly snacking is another. Every time you graze on food, insulin rises and the repair cycle stops. And poor sleep, whether it's scrolling through your phone at 1am or not giving your body enough rest, this can keep your autophagy from reaching its nightly peak. But by avoiding these common traps, you allow all the fasting, the foods and the habits that we've covered in this video to work at their full potential. So now let's bring it all together into a simple lifestyle that you can actually follow. Fast for 16 to 18 hours a day to give your body time to recycle old cells and clear out disease. Exercise three times a week to deplete glycogen and push your body into repair mode. Sleep for seven to nine hours nightly so your brain and cells enter the deepest stages of autophagy. Eat polyphenol rich foods like green tea, turmeric, olive oil and blueberries to switch on the repair pathways and avoid alcohol and constant snacking since they will raise your insulin and shut this whole process down. Because at the end of the day, the best doctor in the world isn't a clinic or a pill, it's already inside you. Scientists have also found that microplastics from bottles, packaging and food storage materials can accumulate inside the brain, liver and other areas of the body. So in the next video, I'll show you how to detoxify them from your body. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.